So I got them. All of them. Do you want to know what the craziest part of all of this is? Nah, because the craziest part is your gatekeeping ingredients that I've already introduced to TikTok over three years ago. But most importantly, you're gatekeeping the tradition of a culture that is not yours. Not because you want to protect the sacred tradition that Indian women have been doing for centuries, but because you want to profit from this niche market in the Western hair industry all by yourself and decrease competition, particularly from black women, the subject in the video, who simply just want to know what the ingredients are. Why? Because they can really make this at home. I have been getting constantly tagged in this video and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm very disappointed. For someone who just started this within the last year, it means she had to learn these ingredients from either an Indian woman or another black woman like myself that's been doing this for years. And we're generous enough to not just show the ingredients, but share DIYs to help other black women on their journeys. And the video disturbed me because it screamed that this is just for profit gain and there's not much regard for her target audience or the founders of this practice. Every consumer is deserving of knowing what ingredients are being used in whatever they're purchasing. But equally important, it is illegal to not list your ingredients. According to the Food Packaging and Labeling Act passed by the Food and Drug Administration. Signing off, your favorite Jamaican herbalist, Dacia.